how, Gary, how did you manage to get Gene Simmons to join us? Um, I met him at the Union 76 station on 4th and Main. And uh, can, I, can, I, can I put in, uh, I am Gene Simmons. <laughs> this, this is Gene Simmons from KISS. Thanks, Gary. You just, you just demonetized the whole, the whole thing. Now we can't make any money on the record. Back to the show, Jeff. You tell, why, don't you, why don't you introduce each one of us and tell everybody who we are to you? All right. So... We'll start with you, Dirk. So since you were the one that got this project started, so I've known Dirk since second grade. Um, Dirk Doucette, who got this project started, it was his idea to record some new songs. Um, Dirk did everything from producing, mixing, engineering, arranging, helped to arrange songs, write lyrics, drumming, percussion, pretty much Almost everything. And uh, we change it to Dirk Doucette. No, the name of the album no. shouldn't be Dirk. <laughs> no, no, this, 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 this whole thing was like, it's all Jeff. Like I just basically just kind of set up the the playpen. I just said, go. And he just went and I'd say, I heard hey, it. Hey, it you sounds know, like it's, that. It's all him, dude. It, it, none of it's me, so. That is a absolutely not true. <laughs> and then That's Gary, true. I've known you since at least middle school yeah gary clothier who did the uh, graphic design work on this and is the front man for grave slide oh and oh. and and i should say father-in-law of a new mayor a local oh, mayor yes. who is dirk's mayor yeah congratulations buddy yeah congratulations paul i've known you since junior high also I can't remember if we met in junior high or like, like the beginning of high school. I guess you guys, it was probably you met. Guys met through Kenny. You must have met through Kenny, right? I think we met through Kenny, didn't we, Jeff? Yeah. So Kenny. Well, that I mean, I didn't meet Kenny until I met Kenny through Bill, and that was when they were freshmen. So we're talking <laughs> about the late Ken Wait of White Glove Test. Indeed. So Paul yes. played, played guitar on this and helped write some of this. In fact. Paul and I were trying to get a band going, right, Paul? And um, that's when the idea that, that I came up with to write some songs, kind of in the vein that R.E.M. did, to write some songs about local local areas that we all grew up around. At the time, Bob Moore was playing bass with us, and Keisha, who just contacted me today for the first time in a year, probably. So she's on the north, I'm sorry, on the east coast somewhere, so. Are you guys referring to the Emmy Award winning Bob Mora? Indeed, double <laughs> Emmy Award winning. None, none other. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Bill, Bill, I've probably known you about the same amount of time or a little bit later than Paul, right? Yeah, I'm I'm probably about that. I mean, you probably met me through Kenny and Sand Hill, so. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. indeed. So, yeah. Bill, you sang backing vocals on yeah. this EP and, <laughs> and you have a um, Sand Hill story. Can you share that about? Oh, you mean the Pink Panther rug? Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, I actually, I actually ran into Tony later too, but, uh, but yeah, um, he had a latch hook rug in his office um, that actually my mother made and he never paid for it. Wow. So any proceeds, I would think, from any Sand Hill singles, you need to somehow go to Bill. No, they don't. <laughs> right. I believe that a hundred percent. Gary, did you ever go to Sand Hill records and tapes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Paul, you did too, right? Yeah, I remember Sand Hill. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And Dirk, you did, right? That place that place creeped me out, but yeah, I went. I, went, I, I, did I thought it was a little creepy too. It had a very kind of dark vibe. I don't he know knew Tony was at how he had kind of like the whole record point. store and and then music shop side. It was, and, yeah, it was, it was a yeah. cool place. It just had like this kind of like it didn't they have a back room or something? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was his that was his office. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. Some yeah. nefarious activities took place in that back office. That's I, what can, I, heard. I don't know. I can attest to some of that. No. And it was it was kind of a head shop too. Because uh yeah. Were... yeah. Right, 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 right. I remember that. Yep got called out by Raylord the other day about some song lyrics on this record referring to the Sam Marcus, uh, how we used to refer to uh, the devil's lettuce uh, back in the 80s. What, what were the terms you used lyrically? Jeff, you remember? Well, I know. Well, I mentioned shake and then um, getting pined. Kenny would say getting oh, yeah. pined. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was Kenny's term. Kenny would, yeah. Absolutely. So That's I didn't good. know if that was regional or just just our little clique or, or what, but... Well, Raylord called you out, bro. Yeah, I did get called out on that. Sore finger records in the house. <laughs> so I got a box here, and I think there's CDs in here. I'm not sure. It's pretty heavy just to have documents. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this thing weighs, but this box. There's a notary inside the box also. But there's supposed to be CDs in here. Let's check it out. And I got a box of vinyl right here for you guys. Nice. Thank you, Jeff. I, I just, excuse me, I just, right? I just experienced a little wood. I don't know what this is about, but we've got a pretty nifty postcard. But we got CDs too. Woo! Okay. So, Gary, this probably looks very familiar to you. Yes, yes. I recognize that from somewhere. It's a Tony Lozano. Yes, so Tony Lozano did the artwork. Yeah, I love it. That looks nice. Yeah, so it's killer, bro. I love it. So here's the Open back. Up, what about that record label? Boom. Uh, <laughs> uh, worried about that margin? I want to see how the disc turned out. Dude, I got my coffee mug, Jeff. I'm going to go grab it. OK. All right, so produced and engineered and mixed. Tommy Wiseau by Dirk Doucette. Matt Return by Ray Cox the Third. Written by Tommy Wiseau. All right, so here we go. Here's the inside, Gary. Yes. Say something so we can see the. Um, Dirk's in the big picture, so start talking. Oh, Dirk, get out of the big picture. There we go. Uh, Is that uh, with the disc in? That's the disc in. Oh, nice. Let's you want me to pull it? Oh, no. You yeah. want me to pull it out? Yeah, that's what she said. Wait, that's what he said. Yes. Remember <laughs> she with Jeff? She said, uh, uh, pull yes. it out? <laughs> Four. Dude, that's brutal. I'm just kidding. That. Was that you, Clothier? What's that? Who invited you, Gary Clothier? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the actual disc. Also Dirk's idea to put the face on the disc. No, no, that was your idea. I wanted the crying face on there, remember? Yeah, that's you wanted a face, idea. but I wanted this particular face. Yeah, that's cool. The crying face is on the vinyl. Yeah, no, no, it is. Ooh. Oh, the crying face is on the vinyl? It's okay. on one of the stickers. It's happy oh, face, is sunrise, or nice. I can't remember. Whoops, so that's it. It is dedicated to the late, great Phil Drucker. For sure. So that's it. Right that's on. the whole thing. It looks pretty nifty to me. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Yeah, yes, very Jeff. Good job, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me, Jeff. Right. Cheers, boys. Thank you guys. Yeah, right on. Thanks, thanks for you guys. buddy. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Later, guys. All right, Later, thanks, guys. everybody. Love you guys. Rock on. Bye, Gene. Oh wait, hold up. The hell? Oh fuck, dude! It was this is hot. Gene Simmons from Kiss. This <laughs> is finding Jeff Bridman boxers in the parking lot this afternoon. <laughs> awesome, dude! <laughs> They're Not perfect.